In this Rhino Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can model this weeping pattern uh, in Grasshopper. And I'm going to also use a great plugin called Mesh Plus uh, and combine it with Weaverbird to produce this pattern. So be sure to watch till the end because we have uh, some plugins we have to install to make this pattern easily uh, and without going into too much logics or make it complicated. So. Uh, first of all, what I want to do is that uh, you can also download this example from our website. Uh, what I want to do is to show you uh, first how to make the surface. The base surface which I have used uh, is something similar to this. So what I want to do is to uh, make a curve and make this with a sweep command. So I'm going to go to the curve command, control point curve and draw a curve. And what I want to do is to give this uh, two sections at the start and at the end and make a sweep to make the surface, okay? So we can go to the C planes and use this C planes perpendicular to curve. We we'll click on this, select the curve, bring it to the front. So I can just draw a curve from here. I'm going to draw a curve and remember you don't have to snap to the other point. So be sure to draw here, or you can just disable the snap and draw it. Okay, so this is the base curve. And then what I want to do uh, is to go to the perpendicular frame again, click here, and draw the second curve. So I'm going to draw this. And then we can go here and select the C plane world top to go back to our top uh, world plane. Now what we want to do is to click on the record history and use the sweep command, sweep one, uh, select the rail and select the section, section one, section two, uh, and then OK. OK, you can see that we have produced that surface. And now the best thing is that you can change the surface by changing the control points of the curves. You can see that I can move this control point up and down and change the base surface uh, or I can also change the control point of this curve by moving it inside and changing the results. So remember you can simply use the report history and this command to produce the surface. Uh, you can also uh, click on it and rebuild it if you want to rebuild it into maybe 20 to 20 uh, to make it smoother and the distribution of the UV curves. Okay. Now what we want to do is to bring it into the Grasshopper canvas. So let me just put the bifocals plugin so you can see this. And I'm going to select the surface, set the surface to this one, and turn this off. This is the base surface we want to work with. Uh, the most important thing with the weaving pattern is that you have to install the Mesh Plus plugin. So if you install it, I'm going to uh, put it in our website. You can also uh, find it in the foodforrhino.com mesh plus. Uh, you can see after installing it, we have a weaving uh, pattern here. So there are different patterns you can use uh, and I'm going to use this Tatch one. You can also use different uh, and change it later if you want. I'm going to show you at the end that we, we can also use other ones. So if I put this on the canvas, you can see it's going to give you an input. We have also talked about this in the course, uh, several patterns we have talked for uh, producing parametric rings and jewelry, producing patterns on our surface. So remember, if you want to know more about this, you can also watch our course or enroll in our course. So this one is the mesh you want to give it. So you can see it's a G and it's open or closed mesh. And what we can do is to go to the mesh section utility and select this mesh surface. The reason I'm doing this is because the mesh surface is going to give you a nice distribution of uh, meshes in the UV count and then we can produce that weaving pattern on it. So let's just give maybe from 3 to uh, 12. Copy this 
and give it to the u count v count and increase this uh, we can simply just change the div divisions to what we need and now we have this mesh and you can see if i bake this we have a simple mesh uh, on the surface uh, what we wanted to do is to give this mesh let me just turn this off uh, to the g and this is the first step you can see that there is some patterns on this okay the next part is the t's and if you see the t's it's also let me just show you in the mesh plus plugin uh, if you go to the weave maybe weave pattern you can see that it has t0 t1s it can also be uh, something like t1 t2 t3 it's usually between 0 and 1 so if i give a number slider between 0 and 1 to the t0 you can see that when i increase it to 0 it's going to fit and if i go to 1 it's going to make it small so remember you can easily change the width of the weaving pattern with this t parameters the next one is the d and it's really beautiful uh, it's going to move those control points in the normal direction of the surface and you can see how easy it is to produce this pattern and make this weaving pattern by just changing the d if you increase it, it's going to go to the normal direction and make something like this it's basically uh, relative to your project so remember you have to change this uh, based on your projects okay we are good to go and you can see that if i bake this uh, we have this mesh pattern on this one right and we have this like here and at the end what we want to do is to make it a little bit smoother right to make that weaving pattern so what you want to do is to install the Viverbit plugin you can also uh, download it from our website after installing the Viverbit plugin uh, you can see that uh, in the transform section there is a Viverbit mesh ticken so I'm going to give this Viverbit mesh ticken to the mesh to the output turn this off and maybe give this a small distance okay this will help you to give it a thickness and it's really cool uh, for projects or chain things and this is the next step you can use it uh, remember it is based on your project so if it goes too much it's going to intersect with the mesh so remember you have to give it a reasonable uh, thickness at the end we want to give this viverbird catmull clock subdivision we have talked about this in different tutorials so i'm going to give this uh, to the outputs let me just connect this uh, turn this off and maybe we want to give this uh, three times if we want to make it really smooth uh, one two three is three is the maximum and now you can see if I bake this all right and just close uh, you can see how smooth is that weaving pattern and we will have it you can also watch it in the artistic view so that's it that's the viewing pattern we want to produce so this tutorial was a fast way and a simple way to produce that weaving pattern simply in grasshopper you can change the width we can just go to our definition and maybe just increase this or decrease the number i want to give it maybe 0.3 and you can also change the number of the divisions uh, maybe just change this to six and this to two you can see that's going to change our results that's the best way and the fastest way you can you produce a weaving pattern in grasshopper and uh, thanks for watching uh, subscribe to our channel like this video and comment what do you think about this mesh plus thing have you ever, uh, ever worked with it? Uh, and uh, see you next time.